what will a zero do to a student? Should we give zeros? Uh, there, several teachers have different opinions on that, but when you give a student a zero, and that's it, that's their one shot deal, they're not gonna go back and look at that material. They're not gonna look back at that worksheet. If you gave them a, a homework assignment and they didn't do it, they get a zero. They're, gonna, they're not gonna look back at that material. They're not gonna learn it. They're not gonna obtain that standard that they have to learn. And then they're gonna go on to the next assignment, which most of our assignments are tiered. You learn step A to get to step B. Well, how can you do step B without learning step A? And that's where we have this issue. If you keep, you know, give them zero, they don't give them another shot, they'll never learn, they'll never progress. That's what one of the issues we have with this labor policy and giving out zeros. And it just deters the student from wanting to learn. You know, if you give them a zero, all right, that's, you know, that's it. Um, so what do we do about late work? Should we accept it or should we not? Should there be a penalty or should they get full credit when they turn it in? Um, what Ms. Jones already stated, the, Mr. Gillespie, that article we read is have a due date and a deadline. Grades, your homework is due this date, but the absolute last day I'll accept it is this date, is the deadline date. Now, if they didn't turn it in by the deadline date, they had to do an alternative uh, assignment, which is, describes why it was turned in late, so it's added work for them. But once they realize, hey, I, I have to turn it in this day, but I can actually put it off until this date, still get full credit, it'll help out. You know, If we don't have that little due date deadline policy, it said it's a zero after this date, you're gonna get that student, if you have like a multiple choice, like B, 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 turn it in, they took no effort. You know, you would hopefully want your students to actually put effort in the homework that you give them to show that they are actually caring about what they do and what they want to learn. If you